Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Distant Spring for the last part go but first I think what I'm gonna do is face off against the optional boss of death over in that egg in the oceany area well puddly area <laughs> because I'm gonna have a lot of time in this day to do a bunch of stuff so I might as well start off by doing a ridiculously difficult boss this may very well be the hardest boss in the game, and I am really unsure about how many Pikmin I should be using against this thing. I'm going to choose 30, and I'm going to choose all reds here, and they're all flowers, so that's pretty nice. Alright, for uh, getting it out of its egg, you're of course going to need a couple of blues, but don't take too many of them. Alright. Nerves! They are overwhelming. <laughs> Alright, inside this egg is the boss. You only want to attack it with a couple of Pikmin. And you'll see its gauge go down. Just let it, let the Pikmin attack it, and it'll eventually hatch on its own. Just let, let the gauge, oh god, it's twitching. There it is! That is the Smoky Prog, and it will immediately start going for the base. So what you want to do is meet it back over there. My sense of direction is terrible, and I'm going to put away the blues, actually, just because I'm going to be aiming to face it off with as, many, as much power as I possibly can. So put you guys away. All reds. Now what it's going to do is it's going to roar at the red onion and what that roar does is it uproots Pikmin and if any Pikmin are inside that smoke cloud underneath him it'll be an instant death for them so you gotta be really careful with this thing and the only way to damage it is to throw Pikmin on top of it wait is it gonna do it yes it is okay throw Pikmin on top of it kill it kill it okay safe safe pull him off pull him off just play it safe let it wander around. It's not all that fast, but you gotta try to lead it to do what you want it to do. This could take a couple of tries to get all of its HP gone. Oh boy. <laughs> Go on, roar at one of these onions, please. You must roar in order for me to throw Pikmin onto you. Oh, wait, wait. Go, 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 go! <laughs> yeah. Wait, where did that Pikmin... Oh, I'm throwing them too far, dang it. See, they instantly die when they fall into the smoke stream of death. That's its body. Whatever the heck it's made up of, it's like... Ugh! <laughs> and needless to say, there aren't any white Pikmin in this game, so... Yeah, no Pikmin can safely go inside its poison field because, you know, the white Pikmin are the ones that are immune to poison and they don't exist at this time period. Oh god. Get on, come back, come back, safe, safety dance. Wait, what? Why does it say 24, 23 at the Pikmin count at the bottom of the screen? What? Why? <laughs> Did like huh did i manage to save one or something like that? i don't think it's possible to save them if you i mean if they end up in that smoke field that's <laughs> what how did that happen <laughs> okay roar again please thank you please die you're so scary <laughs> all right everyone back Everyone back. Oh god, it's coming. <laughs> and this is also why you want flowered Pikmin, because it's easier to run away from him. Or her, or whatever the heck this thing is. Oh wait, I think it's going for an onion. I mean, it's gonna roar next to one, okay. I think this might be it. I think this might be it. And oh shoot, I threw those little low. Oh wait, no, there's sir. That's okay, it's okay. Go, 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 go. Kill. Kill! No! It didn't make... I mean, it didn't kill it. Duh. And it's Now it says 22 out of 21. <laughs> What's with that counter? Dang it. I wonder what'll happen once I get the prize out of this thing. Because it's a 
pretty awesome prize. All right, come on. Roar at something. <laughs> it takes a while to beat this thing, but it's definitely worth it. Come on. <sighs> Roar at something! <laughs> wait, 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 it's doing something. Oh, okay, it's going to the red. And throw, 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 This should be it, but then again, I said that last time. And a couple got killed there somehow, I don't know how, but it's dead! Woo! And it took like a third of the day to do it. Okay, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? It is a golden pearl. You remember those pearly clam clams that gave you 50? This one gives you a hundred! <laughs> All right, which color could use it? In all honesty, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> um, thinking ahead, I probably probably should give it to the reds. And... I'd like to show the stream of Pikmin that'll come out of the onion, but I, want to, I also want to see um, what the counter will be like once I pull out a hundred Pikmin from it. Because remember, the counter is off for whatever reason? So I'm, I'm, I'm like, doubly curious as to what's going on. 99, where? Okay, the counter just reset properly, okay. <laughs> now, carry this back to the onion. Why are you going in that direction first? And now watch the Pikmin counter go up. I would like to show the seeds streaming out of the flower, but that would take forever to put them back into the... Un to pluck them out of the ground and whatnot. Just look at the counter go up. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, for this last ship part, all blues will do. And I have plenty of time to do this ship part, even though it's gonna take me a good while to do it. I only need like 50 of them, but just in case I encounter things along the way, I'm gonna, gonna get 100 so I can breed up the colors without having to worry about plucking them from the ground. Oh, that was an adrenaline-based boss battle. <laughs> it's so easy to lose Pikmin against that thing. Oh, but luckily it's slower than your um, flowered or budded Pikmin, otherwise you might have some issues. Um, oh wait, don't... what am I going over by this grass for? This is, this is useless for what I'm going to be doing here. Because I, I actually have to um, change their color and I have to repluck them, so that, that that was completely pointless as to what I did there. I'm just being stupid, probably because the adrenaline is has gotten to me. <laughs> All right, now you want to throw like 20 Pikmin up over ugh, up over to that ledge if you can. This is really annoying to do. It's it looks a lot easier to do on the Wii version because you have more control over your pointer. I just want to get enough of them up there, basically. Come on, Let's start from this edge, because I think they're starting to like push the other ones off as I'm throwing them up. Okay, there we go. Dismiss! Geyser! Call! And, just dang, some fell off the ledge. Alright, let's transform. I only want to transform 20 of them, actually, just so I don't have to worry about um, there being any leftovers inside the flower, so I'm going to be careful as to not throwing too many in them. Um, I'm trying to think of how many I already threw in there, but it's failing me. I'm just waiting for it to close, because that, that's telling me that there's 10 of them in there then. Okay. So dismiss them there. Start plucking! And be careful so that the yellows don't go off the ledge, because obviously they're going to drown. <laughs> Alright. Keep plucking, keep plucking, and you're normally supposed to throw the yellows over to the other side, but that's... A little too time-consuming for my taste. Oh, no, 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 no! Well, actually, that's fine. That's what I want to do. Drop them in the water, call them to the land, just like this. They'll all be safe. 
<laughs> it works every time I've done that. Alright, get him up there. And that should be enough to carry that part down, please. That is enough, right? Okay. Oh, I was a little worried there. This is the last ship part that I can get in the area, the Kronos Reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. What else does this have to say? Mm, changes permutations in the space-time continuum to pre is This is like a big rubber band, and they're going to fall off there. Obviously, they can't take it through the water, so I'll transform back! No, don't carry that. <laughs> Bad Pikmin. Carry that when you're blues. Alright, sprouts, and start plucking. Boy, I burned a lot of time this day just battling that one boss. I hope I'll be able to get the ship part back in time. I think I will be able to. But, wow. I didn't realize how long it would take me to do that. I intended on doing that boss as like a optional sub day along with two other um, optional bosses. But I figured I would fill out this day because of the fact that it's going to be rather... Um, uh, go, there you go. <laughs> it would be rather um, a, a very slow day just getting this one ship part and nothing else. So I thought it would be interesting to do that. Uh, there we go. 80. And everyone, that is a flower on here, please. Now there's 40. They should make it back in time. Alright. Now, while they're taking that back, why not explore the area? Just because I didn't really show the other portions of this. Because, you know, I was I was aiming for speed and whatnot. Um, there's some more bomb rocks over here, but they're, bu but, but they're beyond the walls. So they're pretty much pointless. <laughs> um... Over here was that uh, throw Pikmin on the ledge puzzle dealio thingy. There really isn't all that much here aside from these neatly detailed tree roots of which you can't take ship parts across. Pikmin can go across them happily though. This leads back over to that uh, wall that I knocked down here. You remember that ship part that was in there, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Um, I don't think I showed the right side of the uh, ocean portion slash puddle portion, you know, the largest water portion so let's do that I suppose there are a couple of wally wogs I have to look out for though but I can dodge them using the C stick I'm not gonna battle them or anything like that just for the sake of safety wait how close are they to the base uh, oh they're nearly there okay I just noticed that there's a, a couple of Pikmin stuck on stuff for whatever reason <laughs> and there it is Chronos reactor. This reactor changes permutations. Uh, you said the same thing. Yeah! One part left. And I need to go get back. Go get those Pikmin that end up stuck on that dang tree stump. Wait, actually, maybe that's not a tree stump. No, wait, that is a tree stump based on the, uh, the way it's carved out and the grain and the bark of it and stuff like that. Um, in the center here, I believe there's actually, like, flower pot like shaped things. I don't know if I showed that before. You know what I'm going to do? Because my team is slower than I am, I'm going to leave them at the base here just so they're safe. And then I can show you the uh, other stuff manually. Like that. There we go. They will be golden. Okay, now around here. Uh, yeah, I know I still have yet to go back to the water, but I'm, I'm gonna be a lot faster this way. Now, if you have a higher view here, it's another carved out tree stump like thing. Maybe there aren't the flower pots in here. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, Pikmin 2's details. No, uh, like that, yeah, oops. <laughs> ah! Oh, that also reminds me, I never showed myself uh, healing off the ship, did I? I can use the time in this day to do that as well. Um, yeah, there's that. Oh, and by the way, if you ever run out of energy with your... I mean, if you ever take too much damage, what'll happen is that the day will automatically end. And uh, you're going to have to... 
restarts. Well, not restart, it's just that everything stops right then and there, and yeah, any Pikmin that are out in the field would die out as if they were left behind and whatnot, stuff like that. Um, no, why are you, why are you here? <laughs> I almost end up losing one Pikmin because of that. Um, seriously, is there any other stragglers around here? Alright, I still have to show the left side here, which there isn't really much more to show that I didn't already show when I was getting the ship part back here. But it's just a couple more Wallywogs and water dumples here. And a couple little plants here. And that's really about it for the area. And with that, I'm gonna let the time run out. And oh, I'm so happy I beat that boss. That was a rush. <laughs> Awesome day! Woo! Yeah! Fly, Olimar! Fly! Fly away! We will never be back here again! Well, unless I play this game on my own solo. <laughs> 13 days since impact, at last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support system, like <laughs> my life support, fails in 17 days. Courage! And that was awesome! <laughs> Look at that hundred sprouted from that gold pearl. Just went rip right up on the graph. And let's save. And only when you have all 29 parts, you'll be treated to this meteor shower. Whoa! The beauty! So much beauty! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part. Enjoy the meteor shower. Oh, it's over. Dang it! <laughs>